Hey everyone, welcome back to Didi's Mediterranean Kitchen. Today we're going to be making a lamb and bulgur wheat pilaf. It's simple, it's easy to make, and it's full of flavor. Let's get to cooking. So to get started, here I have a pressure cooker. I love to use a pressure cooker when I want to cook any type of stew meat or chunks of meat. I think it makes the meat very tender and it cooks it a lot faster. So here, you may not be able to get a good view because then I'll start spilling. We have the lamb shanks. So I cook the lamb shanks in just some water with some diced onions, a cinnamon stick, a few bay leaves and a few cloves, a little bit of salt and then I cooked it for about 30 minutes in the pressure cooker. And I'm going to show you what I have. I have two lamb shanks in here. I let it cool a little before handling it. You want to make sure you don't burn yourself with the steam. I'm going to put this broth to the side because we're actually going to use this broth to cook the bulgur wheat with. Put that to the side. So here I have the lamb shanks and you just want to gently remove the meat. You can remove any excess uh, connective tissue or fat that's on there. Just take it off, just like that. And then you wanna put your nice pieces of meat to the side. You don't want them like bite-sized pieces. Now, if you are not a fan of lamb, you don't have to use lamb. You can use beef, you can use stew meat, um, you can use chicken for this. Just boil your chicken the same way. You don't have to use a pressure cooker. Just boil it with the same um, ingredients. And you can use it for this dish as well. But I strongly suggest trying the lamb because I think lamb has a little bit of a bad rep um, here. And I think trying it different ways will help you find out what you like. So I'm just going to continue to pull this meat off. Here we have our lamb meat. Now we can go and just put our pilaf together. Here I have a nice two and a half quart pot and a few tablespoons of extra virgin olive oil. And I have an onion that I chopped up. Let's put that in there. We're going to cook these for about five minutes. So after you cook your onions for about five minutes, we're going to add our lamb to this, our lamb chunks. Just like that. We're gonna add a can of garbanzo beans. We're gonna add a little bit of allspice and some cinnamon. Some black pepper. A little bit of salt. Stir this up. Here we're gonna add a few cups of our lamb broth. It has a lot of flavor. I'm going to use it to cook our bulgur with. That way you don't lose any of the flavor. So just like that. We're going to let this simmer for about five minutes. Here you can see our ingredients have come to a simmer. We're going to give this a taste now remember, there is salt in our broth and we added a little bit of salt, so you want to make sure that it tastes good. Perfect. And now we're going to add our bulgur wheat. And we're going to let this just cook for about two to three minutes covered until the wheat absorbs all the moisture. And then we're going to let it sit for another five minutes, fluff it with a fork, and then let it sit another five minutes and it's covered. You want to make sure it's covered so that you don't release any of that steam. So just give this a stir, just like that. We're going to cover it for two to three minutes. It's been about three minutes. We're just going to give it a stir. See how it's absorbed a lot of that broth? Give it a quick stir. You're going to turn off the heat. Let it sit for five minutes. Fluff it with a fork. Let it sit another five minutes. And then we'll serve. Our pilaf is done. I let it sit for another five minutes. And then I, I fluffed it up. Look at this, it's beautiful. It smells wonderful. The allspice, the cinnamon, 
all the ingredients are just absolutely amazing. You want to serve this up in a nice large plate. You can see the chunks of meat. Now this goes great with a salad or with um, a nice big serving of Greek yogurt. It's amazing with it. Or you can just eat it by itself. And it's great for lunch, for dinner. It's full of fiber, it's full of protein. It's a super healthy, flavorful dish. So simple to make. We're gonna dress it up with just a little bit green. You wanna add some color to it, just like that. Just a little bit of fresh parsley over the top. And that's it. It's so simple and easy to make. You can make this during the week. You can make it for a weekend dinner. I hope you enjoy this recipe. It is on my website at ddmed.com. Let me know if you have any questions. Email me. Join me on Facebook, Twitter, Pinterest, Tumblr, and all the other networks. So I hope you enjoyed this recipe, and I hope to see you again soon.